It's a Manchu. Welcome back to Minecraft Bedrock Edition Java, where I play through both versions of the game and compare them. I'm back in Bedrock Edition Skyblock, and today I intend to get netherite gear. I want to upgrade all of my diamond armor and weapons and tools to netherite. To do that, I have to collect ancient debris, and that's something that's possible to do in both the Java Edition version of Skyblock and the Bedrock Edition version. It's going to be quite a bit easier and more straightforward to do in the Bedrock Edition version. So, for that task, I have collected a bunch of sand from wandering traders, and I have a bunch of gunpowder from the general purpose mob farm, so I can use that to make TNT. In fact, I can use regular sand and red sand. Looks like I can make a few more TNT. I've been buying all the sand I can from the wandering trader whenever I get a chance, and because of that, I've accumulated a decent amount of TNT, as you can see. And I also have some potions of fire essence because I'm going to the nether and I might run into some fire. Alright, let's take that box with me and head into the nether. So obviously in Skyblock you can see there's not a lot of terrain here. <laughs> certainly no ancient debris here. But as I've demonstrated before, if I go out... Hang on, let me turn on coordinates for a minute. I don't always have those turned on, but when I'm wandering around exploring it's probably a good idea to do. As I demonstrated before, if, you know, I go out a thousand blocks, I'll run across regular nether terrain. And now that I have a light track, I can just fly out there. Getting close to the regular nether terrain here. Should be coming in sight any second. There it is. The way this terrain was generated a thousand blocks away is just going to be... This all is just nether wastes. But if I travel out... Another, say, 500 blocks beyond that, I'll get into new 1.16 version Minecraft terrain, which is going to have all the new nether biomes, and I'll find ancient debris there. Yeah, this is the right area. You can see there's a basalt delta there. Somewhere around here I have dug... A mine. I have to dig down to Y13, but I think I've dug a mine somewhere around here already, if I could find where it was. I was digging up for uh, Blackstone earlier. Yeah, there's a torch up there. Aha! Here it is. This way. And this should be the tunnel I've dug. I was digging for blackstone, but that's the tunnel. That's good. Now, let's see. Let's take a stack of this TNT and Start placing it out. TNT is harder to come by than beds. I could do bed mining, but it's a little more dangerous and a lot messier. So I think I'm going to place these every five blocks. Hopefully that's close enough together. In my previous series, I did get ancient debris in regular Minecraft survival, and I explained how that kind of how that worked. Ancient debris is found all over the nether, except each chunk you'll find two veins, and one of those veins is... I can't remember the range. I think it's somewhere between Y8 and Y118, so it's pretty much the full range or close to it of the nether. The other vein is going to be between Y8 and Y25 like ish so lower down than the nether. So that means you have a better chance of finding ancient debris far down low on the nether. And to mine it, I like to go to Y13 for TNT. If I was mining with beds, I'd, I'd uh, actually make this tunnel at Y12 and then dig out one block up to the side to place a bed to do bed mining with. 
uh, because beds explode in the nether. The problem is that beds also make a lot of fire when they explode. It's very messy, and you have to be close enough to touch the bed to set it off. So you're going to be close to the blast. It's dangerous and messy. TNT's a lot neater. It just requires harder to get materials to make it. There, that's a stack of TNT. I got more tunnel beyond that, but this is due for starters. I think from a couple of stacks of TNT, I should be able to get plenty of ancient debris. And the reason this works is netherrack is not very resistant, not very blast resistant. Uh, so an explosion will blow up a lot of netherrack. Ancient debris, on the other hand, is almost impervious to explosions. For all intents and purposes, it is impervious to explosions. So I could set off TNT sitting right on top of ancient debris and it won't break that ancient debris. So the explosions should break all the blocks around the ancient debris and expose it. That's the theory of how it should work. All right, now I can shoot this TNT with my flame bow. I think I can also touch it with a fire aspect sword. I actually went to the effort to get these enchantments put on these tools for this very purpose. Uh, let's try that and then back away. That's kind of a nice advantage over beds. I can be nice and distant. the first stack of TNT. Let's see how much ancient debris that revealed. There's a vein. That's a vein of three. Well, that's concerning. The first stack of TNT got me seven ancient debris. Oh, I need a lot more than that. I hope I do better with the next stack. That's not good. Oh. More ancient debris just by tunneling. I love when that happens. Well, the first stack of TNT got me seven inch debris, I think. Second stack got me significantly more. That's a little better. I was worried because I need 32 ancient debris, I believe, to upgrade everything to netherite. And now I have 34, and I have three TNT left. I'm wondering if I should start another tunnel someplace and just see if I get, like, really lucky. <laughs> ah! Well, that's lucky. I didn't even need AT&T to find that. Holy crap! I thought I'd go a little distance away so I wouldn't uh, be in the same chunk. And I found more ancient debris. Doesn't look like I got lucky that time. That's okay. In the process of trying to make the tunnels to blow up more space, I found like three more ancient debris. Maybe four. Alright, now. Let me smelt all that ancient debris. Now smelt up this nether gold ore while I'm at it. Alright. I have the nether scrap and gold ingots that I need. And that should give me enough for nine nether ingots.
Now I need a smithing table. I don't think I have a spare one here. There. Smithing table. Now I can combine the armor with another right ingot to make another right chest plate. Another right boots. Another right helmet. Leggings. Sword. Pick. Axe. Shovel. And other sword. And there we go. I'm fully geared up with netherite in Skyblock. Pretty good if I do say so myself. And I've even had enough netherite to enchant both my smite sword and my sharpness sword. Which is really nice. This was the easy part. Bedrock Edition, Skyblock. It was easy to get netherite. Now I'm going to go to the Job Edition version of Skyblock and get Netherite there. That's going to be a lot more of a grind, and I'll show you why. All right, now I'm in the Job Edition Skyblock, and in this version of Skyblock, I'm not going to find Ancient Debris the way you find it in normal survival Minecraft. There isn't any in the Nether. But I'm here at the Nether Fortress because this is the key to getting Ancient Debris. The data pack for this version of Skyblock as I said several times over the last few videos, it has different drops for some of the mobs. And withers drop ancient debris. So all I have to do is kill a wither, and I don't think it's 100% of the time, maybe 50% of the time, I will get ancient debris from a wither. Well, that's great, except if I need at least 8 netherite ingots, that means I need at least 32 ancient debris. And 50% of the time, I get ancient debris from a wither I have to kill the wither a lot of times like a lot and to do that I need a lot of wither skeleton skulls so I can summon it many many times that's what I'm doing here at the nether fortress because this farm that I made at the nether fortress will provide me with wither skeletons that I can get wither skeleton skulls from but I haven't gotten any yet and a big problem that I have with this farm it's kind of nerfed it doesn't really work because of my Ziglin farm down here. This thing's really effective, but it's a big spawning platform and it's full of Ziglins and it's taking up the uh, mob cap. So I'm not getting any mobs spawning up here, at least not many. Which means this farm has to go. I'm gonna have to tear it down and then hopefully I can rebuild it someplace else. Hey, I got a skull. Ooh. Start. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Six hours later. Much, much, much later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. To say this took a long time to accomplish, <laughs> that would be an understatement. I have managed to collect 195 Wither Skeleton Skulls. And I'm gonna need that many because I need to summon the Wither like 64 times if I wanna get 32 Ancient Debris. But I finally got there. Now, I can summon the Wither actually 65 times technically. But I'm not gonna fight it 64 or 65 times. I'm not gonna do that. Oh no. I'm going to summon the Wither in the end, under the end portal, and suffocate it 
in the bedrock of the end portal, so I don't have to actually fight the thing. Because I'll be darned if I'm going to fight the Wither legitimately dozens and dozens of times. I just have to go back to the overworld and prep a few things first. A few more materials I need to collect. Okay, now here I am in the end, and I'm going to try to summon the Wither under this portal so that its head is embedded in the bedrock and it will just suffocate. I won't have to do anything. It's going to require a little bit of preparation. I brought the materials I need with me to do this. First of all, I need to dig out underneath the portal. Alright, I've dug out the area two blocks high, so I got a little cave in here underneath the bedrock of the portal. Now I need to replace this whole floor with obsidian. Okay, now before I summon the Wither, I'm going to point out a couple of things. First of all, I ditched the Elytra. I have full diamond gear right now, so I'm fully armored up. My sword, I have replaced the Sharpness Sword with a Smite 5 sword that incidentally does not have knockback. I don't know if that's going to matter, but I certainly don't want to risk attacking the Wither when it's embedded with its head in the bedrock and knocking it out of the bedrock. I don't think I can, but I don't want to take that risk. More importantly, I want to emphasize that this is Java Edition I'm playing in. This can be done in Bedrock Edition, but requires a different technique. If you try to summon the Wither like this in Bedrock Edition, yeah, it's not going to be embedded in the Bedrock, and you're going to have to actually legitimately fight it, so that's going to be rough. I'll show off later how to do it in Bedrock Edition, but this is Java Edition, and this is how it's done in Java Edition. So I want to find the center spot directly under the center of the portal, and I believe that should be there. Make sure that's lined up right. That looks correct. Now, that's the base of the T. The rest of the T forms like that. And then I just place three Wither Skeleton Skulls at the top of the T, and that should summon the Wither, and it should be directly embedded in the bedrock. i got to back up here a minute, because it is going to explode. Don't want to be around when that happens. Once the health bar fills up, it explodes. And now its head is embedded in the bedrock ceiling, and it is actually taking some damage from suffocation. I don't have to lift a finger. It will just die if I leave it be. But I can swing my sword at it and speed up the process a bit. Like, quite a bit. <laughs> it would take forever otherwise. It's already down below half health, and it's dead. And I got another star. I did not get Ancient Debris. It should drop Ancient Debris, but it's like a 50-50 shot. So <laughs> we're going to have to do this a few times in order to get enough Ancient Debris. But I can summon it 64 more times because I still have three full stacks of Wither Skeleton Skulls. Well, let's just get going with this. Okay, I'm 0 for 2. Um, why isn't this working? Hey, 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 what was that, my fourth attempt? I was starting to wonder, but I do have Ancient Debris. And it should average out that, you know, I should get pretty close to 32 in Ancient Debris by the time all is said and done. Three for seven. I was working on the assumption that it was 50% drop rate, but what I got was 43%, and that's, that's sad, man. That's just sad. 
but at least 28 ancient debris is enough to make me seven netherite ingots, so I'm gonna have to live with that. All right, let me go back and smelt these things and then I'll upgrade all my gear that I can upgrade. Let's make ourselves seven netherite ingots. Disappointing. With a lot less effort, I got like nine netherite ingots in bedrock edition. And I have full netherite gear. Upgrade this sword with everything on it. And we'll have a netherite pick. I think I'll use the last one to upgrade to a netherite hole. <laughs> Serious dedication. Well... It's a little bit disappointing that I didn't get quite as many netherite ingots as I wanted to, and not as many as Bedrock Edition. That, it's supposed to be a 50% drop rate, but that clearly was not. I'm probably gonna have to go back to grinding for more Wither Skeleton Skulls to get even more Ancient Debris and more netherite ingots. Uh, but that's not right away. I don't need to do that right away. There's one more thing I wanted to do today, and that is, since I showed off how to summon the Wither under the End Portal in Java Edition, I should show how to do that in Bedrock Edition, too. Okay, now here I am in the Bedrock Edition sky block. I've made that same space underneath the end portal. And I'd like to get some Wither Roses, so I got a bunch of eggs here. Let's see if I can get some chickens out of this. Hey, I got a chicken. There, that should give me a few Wither Roses. Okay. Now, I'm getting out this locator map because if I place the soul sand right here in the center underneath the portal, it's not going to work. The wither is not going to show up directly under the center of the portal. I need to look for the west side, which is this side. And I need to place... I want the chickens to get out. I need to place the soul sand here. So that's on the western edge. Let me make sure I got this right. I'm facing on the western side. Yeah, the western edge of that bedrock ceiling that is the portal. That's the tail of the wither. It goes right there. And then complete the T here. And then I can make good my escape here. Now place down the three weather skulls and skulls, and if I did this right, yes, it's centered directly under the center of the portal. And I'm gonna back up a little bit. Well, bad news, it doesn't look like they killed the uh, chickens, as I hoped they would. But it is suffocating under there. Oh wait, it did kill one of them. Give me that wither rose. I'm actually gonna back up for a minute. I'm okay with just letting this guy suffocate because once he gets down to half health, he's gonna explode again. I don't wanna be next to him when he explodes. I guess I could hurry the process along a little bit, but I'll take that. I mean, a couple with the roses. That's actually probably enough. It's interesting that the explosions it's causing seem to be actually damaging the end stone a little bit. I didn't see it do that ever in Job Edition. In back a minute, it's going to explode. And it summons in Wither Skeletons, which also begin to suffocate in the bedrock. I suppose a few strings of my sword, I could speed this up a little bit. Ow! It gave me wither. That wasn't supposed to happen. That hurt. I'll just back up and uh, <laughs> not not deal with that. I'll just let it suffocate because it's. Uh, I got close to it to attack it and it gave me the wither.
just in case I brought some uh, extra healing stuff so I couldn't... Uh... And it's gonna explode. There it goes. And we got the nether star. Yeah, the weather definitely did a lot more damage in this one. And attacking it, uh, it hurt me. So, I guess the best bet is in Bedrock Edition, keep your distance. Let the Bedrock uh, roof of the portal finish it off for you. And it actually dies... Well, I can't say that it dies quicker than the Java Edition Wither does in the Bedrock, but it may die quicker, even though it has double the health because it doesn't have any regeneration ability. Anyway, that worked out pretty good. I even got a couple Wither Roses from that. Now, if you're observant, you may have noticed uh, a couple of things here. I don't have my skin right now. It's it, I, I'm having some kind of issue that's uh, caused me to lose my skin. I hope that's temporary. I hope I can get my skin back shortly. Uh, and you'll also see that I have Bad Omen. Funny thing happened on the way here to the end. <laughs> I ran into a pillager patrol in the overworld. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll take on a raid next time in Bedrock Edition because I haven't done that in the Bedrock Edition Skyblock yet. And in Java Edition, I have a few other loose ends to clear up. I'd say that today was a pretty good success. I got full netherite armor in both Java Edition and Bedrock Edition worlds. Maybe not full netherite gear like I did in Bedrock Edition. I, in any case, I'm going to have to be going back to get a few more netherite ingots sometime later. But that's for another time. If you made it this far in this video, you probably like what you saw, so click on the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And find out what kind of cool stuff I have in mind next time. I'm not even close to done with Skyblock yet. There's more things to do, more exploration to do. But next time there's a few loose ends to take care of, including finding some uses for that slime farm I made in Java Edition Skyblock. I mentioned that that was important for the next thing I was going to do, but then I didn't do anything with it. I will next time on Amon Chooses Minecraft, Java vs. Bedrock.